Do you remember how old were you when you realized first I want to do study economics, finance? Yes, I do. Either last or second to last year in high school. So somehow I always thought I was going to go to medical school. I'm sure it's not surprising given that I am a bit of a geek and I told you the story about not picking up the phone with my girlfriend. So I was always a pretty respon responsible, serious student. And then at some point late in high school, I started hanging out with this friend of mine who was not a very serious student. And so I remember that my philosophy teacher, we used to take three years of history of philosophy. One day at the end of the lecture, he said, okay, I would like for somebody to prepare this thing for next class and report to the class. And it was like a little section from uh, Karl Marx, Das Kapital. This was towards the end of the class and then the bell rang and I packed my stuff and I was living and he called me back and said, okay, Giorgio, I want you to do it. <laughs> and I like, okay. Uh, and I think I was a bit frustrated that you could tell that I was kind of losing my focus. And so I read that book, I still remember it was a yellow cover, and, a, and all of a sudden I go like, wow, this is really interesting. I found that really inspiring. So again, silly little event, but it made, made a huge difference. I remember listening to my dad. My dad was always interested in politics and all that, and, and he, he liked to talk a lot. So I always felt like, God, I wish I knew, I understood a bit of what he's talking about. And so those are the two things that somehow led me to do what I ended up doing. It's kind of funny because later in my dad's life, I would go back and we definitely had very different ideas given that I was coming back from Chicago. Were your parents happy about your career choice? After the fact, they were. <laughs> But I remember, so when I finished college, I had the opportunity to work at a bank back in my home country. And I said, no, 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 no. I really don't want to do that. And I remember my dad got really frustrated with me because he said, what? He said most of your friends would back to get a job at the bank. And I, And I, and I told him, I said, no, I, I just want to keep going. I want to, at that point, my mentor in college had told me about going abroad. And so I said, that's what I want to do. And I remember that my dad was a little bit frustrated because he said, what does it even mean to go and study more and be a researcher? But then, of course, you know, then I got into Chicago and, and then when I became a professor, then they were really proud, you know, for them, the idea that I was teaching at a university. And, and then this is kind of a bit funny because when I, then I took the offer from Goldman Sachs, I remember that my mom was kind of worried because I think she had been all proud of the fact that I was a professor. And then she goes, what are you going to tell my friends now? What are you, a banker? <laughs> What's the best advice you've ever received? my conversation with my econometrics professor in Italy, back in Italy, who told me, no, you should go abroad, when I didn't even had thought about the, 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 the idea of doing that. Or to John Cogran tell me, no, 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 don't take that job, finish your PhD. I would say those definitely and made a big difference. What are your professional plans for the next couple of years? Ah, <laughs> well, I have my company, so I think I'll be busy for, for a while. World problem that you wish you could solve can be unrelated to your job. I would say for me, that is happiness. There are things in life that are very, very tough to manage. I would like to think that everybody gets equal chances, right? But as a Milton Friedman said once, is that that, that is never going to happen maybe help people understand that, okay, conditional on realistic circumstances, uh, what it is that we can do to make sure that people get the good opportunities. What's your favorite food? 
So there is not one specific. It is definitely Italian food. I think there is it's so obvious <laughs> Italian food is better is better than anything else. And if anybody watches my video, they can get mad at me. But sorry. <laughs> Favorite thing for you to do in your free time? Maybe this is not appropriate for a video that is supposed to inspire young people. But I like to ride my motorcycles. <laughs> Riding my motorcycle has always been kind of my zen. One thing you cannot live without. My dollars favorite country to visit? Can you guess from my accents? <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite book? Steinbeck, so I just finished reading for the second time East of Eden and I love that book. Favorite show or movie? I watch very little TV. I really enjoy watching Game of Thrones. I never thought I would. What makes you sad? In general, to see people who are not happy. What makes you happy? Opposite of what makes me sad, which is to see that people enjoy their lives. You should get into my profession if you are. If you think you would enjoy doing kind of a scientific research with, with financial data. You should not get into what I do if... If you just do it to make money. If I think about my life, I would say at some point you'll get a job and you will work at that job for many, many years. And those will be important years in your life so try to make sure that you find an area where you really think you're going to be inspired you you want to get up every morning and say oh this is exciting i'm going to go there and learn something or do something that matters to me and hopefully matters to others don't ever choose a profession just because you want to make money and the other thing is always remember that although your job will take considerable amounts of your time every day and in terms of years you need to have other things that you love in your life a passion for movies or passion for art for a passion for music or cooking or but make sure you have that and the other thing is if you love other people remember they're not always going to be they, they won't be there forever so make sure that you enjoy the people that you love and every moment with them